What's up, YouTube? This is DEFCON 3 Security coming at you from somewhere here on Spaceship Earth. Today we are in the Honda Civic, the old reliable $1,000 Honda Civic. It's running good. So uh, today's topic is the hours security works. Um, I'm going to talk about different facets of hours. So, for example... Well, for start, look here. I'm not. I'm not even prepared. Let me kick the seat back here. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. I thought I had some idea of what I was going to talk about, and it's sort of slipped in my mind. So here's the deal, man. If you get a job in security, security is usually a 24-hour a day operation. I mean, think about casinos or 24-hour uh, service stations or. Um, lots to have expensive vehicles right i mean you gotta watch over those vehicles during the night but during the day two things happen so it can be a 24 hour operation having said that if you are new to the job chances are they are going to put you on the most undesirable hour and that would be the night shift now just a little side note if they put you on the graveyard shift Typically, graveyard shift people always make one or two dollars more an hour just because it's so undesirable. But that's another story, okay? So just something to think about. Um, as far as the hours, the thing about security is since it's a 24-hour shift, you'll find yourself in this industry working a lot of hours. If you are in a company that doesn't give you enough hours and you're just barely making it go find another company i'm telling you if i were to talk to my boss today and tell him hey man i need more hours i guarantee you he would put me at 80 hours a week i'm not even exaggerating uh and my last company probably the same thing so um hours with security you know eight hour shifts are typical but uh 12 hour shifts are common uh, I've even seen guys work 24-hour shifts, believe it or not. So how do they get away with that, right? Well, here's the deal, man. <clears throat> I know this is for California, but I also know that it's for other states as well. They will promote you to a supervisor. So, officer so-and-so, you are now a supervisor. Well, what does that mean? Well, a supervisor doesn't get paid time and a half. You can work unlimited hours, but you get paid the same rate because you are a supervisor. So here you're thinking you're getting promoted, right? Like, damn, dude, I just got promoted. I feel good. And yeah, they might give you a dollar an hour raise or $2 an hour raise to make you feel special because you're a supervisor. But the caveat is that once they give you that $2 an hour raise, your time and a half and double time goes out the window. So you gotta watch out for that, man. Um, I had it happen to me. And uh, I was excited and then realized, dude, I'm not getting paid time and a half or double time. Now, even if you're not a supervisor, there's a lot of security companies that will not pay you time and a half. So you'll work like 14 hours straight, but you're just getting a regular wage. How they get away with that, I don't know. I really don't know. You'll have to do the research. But uh, I've had it happen to me a few times and I'm like... Wait, I don't get paid time and a half. They're like, no, you don't. And, and I'm like, so how does that work? And they're like, well, I'll tell you what. If you want to get paid time and a half, we're just going to give you 40 hours a week. That's all the hours you're going to work. Um, because we can't afford to pay you time and a half. Um, but if you don't take time and a half, we'll give you 60, 70, even 80 hours a week. It's up to you, man. So naturally, you're like, well, damn, you know, 70 hours a week sounds great, but when you're not getting time and a half, you're losing out. So think about it. Let's just say you're making 20 bucks an hour, right? At time and a half, you're making, oh man, I, I screwed myself. I shouldn't have tried this math work. Oh no. Oh yeah, at time and a half, you're making $31.50 an hour. That sounds about right. 20, 30, yeah, 30, $31. Anyway, you get the idea, right? If you're making double time, that's an easy one. So you're making 20 bucks an hour. Now you're getting double time. You're getting 40 bucks an hour, dude. So then that sound nice, but no, they'll, they'll offer you that 70 hours 
which seems on paper um, better, but in reality, it's not a good deal. So, you know, you just, you gotta watch out with those tricks. But uh, back to the hours. Uh, the other thing about security is, you know, desirable days would be Monday through Friday, and that's it. But if you're new to the industry, or if you just say okay to them, you know, when they have you fill out an application and you're like, oh, I'm available any days, man, guess what? You're gonna be working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's that's the days they're gonna give you. Your weekends are gone. Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. You know, I did work out a deal with my boss, so we sort of have an agreement. Uh, I only work Friday, Saturday, set, uh, Sunday, but I work 12 hour shifts. So I'm getting about 36 hours a week right now. Um, that's been the case for the last week and a half or two. Uh, it, it never does adhere. It always ends up being something happens. The next thing you know, I'm working on a Tuesday night for no reason and a Thursday night and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But, um, yeah, man, if, if you're in this industry, you can definitely expect to, to lose your weekends uh, unless you have some seniority, they're going to try to stick it to you like that. Uh, holidays, another man. It, it, you know, it's almost like retail uh, working in security. You can almost be guaranteed that your holidays are gone, that your um, weekends are gone. So yeah, the, th the thing is, when you go on an interview, let them know ahead of time, no, I'm not available on all days. And they're going to say, well, we need somebody that can work at least one weekday, like weekend, excuse me, weekend. Uh, and you almost have to say yes to it. And the next thing you know, you're going to find yourself working Saturday and Sunday. It's just, that's just the way it is, man. Uh, you know, just because it's commonplace does not make it acceptable, but it does happen. Um, you know, I make all these videos, guys. I'm always telling you, know your worth, know your value. Um, but the, the truth is, when it comes to talking to your boss and say, hey, man, I just can't do it. Can't work weekends. Uh, they are at the discretion to tell you goodbye and then fill your spot with somebody else. I'd like to think that I'm more valuable than that and that they know my worth. And I certainly do feel my company knows my worth because I have made some uh, outrageous demands and they've said okay to it. Uh, but, you know, just that's just part of the territory, man. So uh, if you get a job in security and you're looking for hours... I can almost guarantee you'll get all the hours you want. But if you're looking for a job that's going to just have you work Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, that most likely will not happen. As a matter of fact, our company, I think the shifts at our company are 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., 2 p.m. to 9 p.m., I think, and then uh, 9 p.m. till 6 a.m. or something like that. We have some weird hours, man. There's... But nobody in our company has nine to five jobs. So um, there you go, guys. Just something to think about. I mean, if you are in this uh, bracket that I'm talking about and you're like totally pissed off, uh, don't feel alone. I mean, most guards are um, in the same boat as you. Again, does it make it right? No. Uh, but is it common? Yes. Just because something is common, does it make it acceptable? No. Can you do something about it? You're damn right you can, right? If you know your worth, you know your value, you value your time, you get to your boss, you tell him, hey, listen, man, you take those hours and you shove it. You'll be out of a job, but at least you got to express yourself. Hey, guys, above all, be safe.